Joining me now is Jonathan Sasha Doty, I-24 News London correspondent. Jonathan, nice to chat with you again. Hi. So can you tell us why is Cameron making this visit now? Well, he was due to visit, of course, in February on a prearranged visit. But of course, the floods here in the UK meant that he had to cancel that trip so that he could be here to manage the recovery effort. So they rearranged for him to be there as soon as possible. And um, this visit is overdue in the eyes of many. He's been prime minister for four years and not yet managed to make a visit to Israel in all of that time, which I think has perhaps shown his interest in the uh, so-called peace talks, whereas previous prime ministers of this country have taken an active interest and been much more present in the discussions, he's taken something of a back seat in right. those Certainly different than his talks. predecessors, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the British government is always very clear with its line on the Israeli-Palestinian situation, uh, not missing many opportunities to condemn building in the disputed territories. But beyond that, it tends to keep uh, out of those discussions and, in fact, uh, leave the U.S. to take the lead in the negotiations. So the U.K. is supportive of John Kerry and the negotiations going on. But I think uh, David Cameron and William Haig have been very careful not to prejudice any of those discussions and not to really say too much ever in the past. So maybe this will be a turning point point when David Cameron feels he can say something a little more substantive, a little bolder, especially during his speech at the Knesset tomorrow. We say that is, uh, the leadership in the UK is supportive of the, the negotiation process right now, but what's the feeling in London surrounding his visit to Israel right now? Well, there really isn't much discussion about this visit here in the UK. I mean, the press here has covered it as something of a courtesy. And unless he says something particularly notable during that visit, then it seems unlikely that there'll be much interest in it even tomorrow when it's uh, going on. Um, the fact is that He's not made this a frontline issue of his premiership at all, and it will continue most likely to be that way. Of course, he's likely, when he does visit, to uh, talk about the strong bilateral trade relation that the UK has with Israel, especially in the high-tech area, with the UK embassy in Israel having set up a special department, a special so-called high-tech hub, to try and get some of the benefit of Israel's high-tech success. He's un undoubtedly going to mention that and his support for Israel's security, but at the same time, most expect him also to condemn any building or plans of building in the disputed territories and reiterate Britain's position on that front. So nobody's expecting any big surprises, but should there be any, then perhaps the UK press and the UK population might sit up and take a bit more notice of this visit. Well, thank you very much. As always, Jonathan Sachedotti, live from London.